In this time I'm going to show you how to use a crystal report and I'm going to show you how to use it for the filter okay this is the report 7 part 7 of the crystal report series okay start a crystal report and select new standard report we are going to use the pups database from the Microsoft SQL server go to the ODBC okay it doesn't matter if you have the pups database or some other database it is very easy okay you can understand it select the pups select next click the trusted connection and select finish from the pups database select the dbo select the table and then select the let's select two tables one and the other one is title author okay and let's go and select the next one okay see you can see that the two tables are selected title id exists in both of the tables title id in the title tables is the primary key to the titles and in the title author it is a foreign key okay both the tables have to be linked otherwise it will show you the incorrect data okay select next let's go and select some field okay depending upon what you want next title is next type also next and then we have a price or advance whatever you want to select depending upon what your existing criteria was what you wanted in report okay I'll select a royalty this time and from the other table I will select the royalty per I'll move to the okay I have selected that fields let's say I am not going to use any group by neither I am going to use the filter right now here and I am going to say finish here okay this is the data it shows up this is the report and why use a criteria in the first place the use a criteria in the first place because of the thing is that if you have already have the data okay already have the report okay and you wanted to actually filter that report you are not going to create a report for every criteria okay suppose if you had a state wise report for california new york new jersey whatever you wanted to do okay whatever the report was okay now you are not going to create a report for region wise east wise west wise every time okay you create one report that has all the data and then you use a filter upon it okay and then print that report okay you can you do do whatever analysis you want you can export that report after applying the uh, filter okay and do whatever we, you will like okay the thing is basic idea is okay to create one first report that has mostly all the data you have okay and then filter it and depending upon what your criteria is get that report from that report okay now let's go and see what the SQL actually is okay let's go let's go to and go to the database and say show SQL this is the SQL actually whenever I actually select a criteria from now on it will add it append a bear clause with it and the criteria would be appended to this SQL okay let's go and do it and let's see it how it works okay there is a report is a select expert okay now it shows me a lot of fields that are in there the report I can select any of the one of the field for the criteria let's say I want to select the price okay I select the price and I select ok ok I am going to there are many other it shows me many from this drop down list many of the way I can actually choose the data I am going to select in between ok now let's say I wanted the price between 10.95 and 20 only those books that are listed between in this price ok so this is it and I am going to select ok if I want to see the formula let's click the show formula it says ok this is the formula title price in 10.95 to 20.95 and I am going to say ok and see there is two options it gives you save you save data or refresh data you save data is already that the data already the crystal report saves with the report ok if you say refresh the data it will read the whole data from the database again 
okay and again save it okay if you have a very large database or large tables okay big tables then it's going to take a lot of time so you better be sure what you want i'm going to use the save data okay okay this is it okay this is what the it shows let's go and see the sql what sql has generated this is the sql okay it has added a where clause at the end this is the where clause it has added and that's very simple okay now let's say close and let's move to the sql expert okay and click new okay now let's go and add a price okay title price let's go and add one more criteria let's say title type okay and i say okay okay it ask me any value if i say equals to okay then i can select the data from this this it shows me this is the data that is available uh okay it doesn't give me the or options so uh, let's go to the for formula editor and let's add the or option or click the report field and again select the business title type and equals to trade cook okay check it out the formula is okay it says no error save and close so click okay okay let's click the you save data and there is a criteria and there we are done now if you want i wish we can go on keep on adding the filter okay now suppose if you wanted to remove the criteria let's go let's be, check the sql before it okay this is the what the where clause is, is and we are done with it okay now suppose if i want to remove the criteria we'll go to the this thing select expert say show formula formula editor and then we select all the script and we delete press the delete key we save and close and click okay and again click the use the save data again it shows me the old report and that's we are done with it okay